tummy. Hi! Right, okay, bear with us again because Holly isn't here and Holly was a server yesterday. Today, it's Gemma. <laughs> not the best. Not so good. Not the best performers either. Oh, FYI, because of all of the inboxes I got about swearing, yes, the other day, I'm in my pyjamas and I'm also drinking wine. It's not, it's not a pint of wine. But who fucking cares about Satan and swearing? Yeah? <laughs> so, crack on with the inboxes. Crack on. See how many fucks I give. Right, so we've got a few questions as well ready, just in case. I can't read either. You're supposed to be reading. I am though. supposed to be reading. Can you read from here? I can see, yeah. I can, I can barely yeah. see, let alone read. I can see so, it. So, right, if we're going to try and get a question, because hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Right, okay, so. Right. Do I, I'll answer a question, you can start reading them questions. Okay, okay. Can so, you the first one, how can I overcome an addiction that I enjoy, i.e. smoke and weed? <laughs> right, okay. Normally, we would say smoke and weed was bad. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not promoting it. What I'm saying is, if they enjoy it and if it isn't causing a problem, then the problem is um, the social acceptance of it. And we're sat here drinking wine. They're, they're selling every it's like a Bacardi or whatever it is. <laughs> they're, they're selling every the shop, but yet smoking weed is the devil's thing. So it's dependent on how that person feels about it. If that person feels that it's a problem and that person feels that it's an addiction that they want to get rid of, that is un unhealthy for the, them, that is messing with their relationships, then it's a problem. If they're coming to me and they're saying it's not a problem, I'm not helping because why? The point to everything is for us to be happy. That's it. If you're happy, there isn't a problem. If you're happy and you're doing something and you're getting shit over it, it's other people's problems or society's in grand place. So, crack on. And that's the place to hear. <laughs> not from my... Different story. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> as you know. Do we want another one? Yeah, as you you have to read them. So, I, uh, I'm reading yeah. them, I'm keeping them. I do very well. I am. Holly was a bit reader. Bit. It's the glasses. Excuse me. Why one minute would I feel on top of the world and think that starting a new business would be amazing but then a couple of hours later I start doubting make excuses to put it off and feel lazy. Right okay that's easy and um, when we've got these flashes and when this is something that we really want to do when we are excited about it, excited about something is an indication that you're on the right path so at that time you're connected to who you are sorry you're connected to sauce so because you're connected to sauce it feels good. If it feels good, sauce agrees with you. That's all you need to know. That's what your emotions are for. If your emotions are bad, whatever you're doing, thinking about, partaking in, isn't good for you. If it's good, it's good. So it, it's basically that, that simple. And then what happens is, monkey brain kicks in. Monkey brain is the conscious part of your brain that you think is you. Is, so I'm looking at myself and not the camera. <laughs> I take one on one like I tell other people to do that, sorry. It's because I'm like, oh my gosh, shiny things. Yeah. I look at the camera, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, then monkey brain kicks in. Monkey brain is the conscious part of your brain that you think is you. It is not you, it is a mechanism. It, 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 it's, it's just the voice that you can hear in your head. It's negative in nature, there's loads about this. It's, it's described as the ego. Um, and it, it will tell you everything not to. It doesn't like you going outside your comfort zone. If you've noticed, you'll go the same route to work. You'll eat the same type of foods. You'll knock about with the same type of people. That's because monkey brain, our conscious mind, our ego, enjoys routine. It likes to know what we're doing because we're safe. So it's, it's to keep us safe. That's its point. It's a survival mechanism. So it knows one route A to work is, is always produce safety. So it'll do that where it doesn't know what root B would, would do. So anything that you haven't done before is going to be fucking scary. There is no way around that. You cannot do something like stand on stage for the first time, <clears throat> or, or take a client for the first time, or drive a car for the first time, and feel confident about it because the monkey's going crazy because it doesn't, doesn't know what's going to happen. The only way to do that is to do it. If you're talking yourself out of it, that, that, that's a process of working out what your dreams are, Working out what your core beliefs are and working out how to make money that way. That's it. But you should really be part of our work group for that. Except more advice on that. Okay. To 
to a good one to follow on from that is when I reach a goal and feel happy for a while, why do I feel like I need to keep reaching for more goals? That's another one. That's a good thing. Once you get something, it doesn't mean to say that you that's it, you're done. It's ridiculous. You're gonna want something more. That's natural, that's what we're here for. We're creators. We are given power to create. Once you take the first thing off the goal, off your list, next thing. What do you think I, I, I originally thought I was going to take over the world? It started with I want a coach and then after coach and I wanted this. Then I wanted to business. It grows, it progresses. That's what we do. That's a good thing. Always a good thing. And you can change your mind about goals. That's not a bad thing either. You don't, you learn as you're going along. Every single day we're clarifying our aspirations and our goals. That's a good thing. It's only bad because people are going, oh, is it last week you said that? Just everyone block it out either move away or live on your own my god you don't let anyone else in your house except normal law of attraction people or just just block it out it's nothing to do with anybody else you need to start focusing on what you want okay I can't so do elaine's just asked a question help me accept that it's others with the problem about my life and not me i can't help you accept jack shit the only person that can help you is you and until you learn to take full responsibility, until you learn the exact framework that the law of attraction is upon, um, it won't work. You've got to do more research. We aren't here to spoon feed anybody. We're not here to save anybody because nobody needs saving. You fucking do not need saving, not one of you. Not the homeless guy, not one of you. Because with inside every single person is the fucking ability to save themselves. All we're trying to do is show you that. That's all we can do. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's not my problem. I, I'll try, for those that are listening, some are ready, some are not ready. But no one's saving you. You learn more about this. You read more books. You watch more things. You train your brain like I did. But I did it with nobody. I did it on my own. You've got, you've got me. So take advantage. But learn more and more and less is, is always the, not more, but neg go negative. Because that's the point. So Claire's asked, if you have a basic idea about the law of attraction, where's the best place to start using it? To say, start using it. Right. Using it. Using it. This is, this is what was confusing to me. Because as much books as, I, as I'd read, there wasn't a set format. There wasn't a do this, do this, do this. There was talk of meditation and talk of visualisation, talk of vision boards. But nobody had set out a programme. A followable. Followable? Followable. Followable. Whatever. <laughs> process that you can follow to incorporate it, which is why we've got the workbook group. Is that the question? Best place to start. Yeah. Oh, the secret. Um, followed by the power, followed by hero, followed by Abraham Hicks. You've um, just answered a question. Uh, the next one. The next question. Deepak. Deepak's amazing. I love Deepak. Richard Dot. Would, would you marry him in a second? I'm an idiot. <laughs> He's amazing. It's quantum physics, eh? But he's awesome. So, another one. How would we deal, or anyone deal, with some competition with somebody in the same business as them? I get this one all the time. These, these are shits. <laughs> these are paying me. No, I may as well be paying them. You know what time I'm putting in? And I'm building them, and everything. It looks. How many of you are coaches now? Too many. Too many. <laughs> Taking up all my time, because there is no lack. There's no lack. I help people to be coaches if that's their desire, because lack is a fake construct. Lack and competition and not enough is fed to you day after day by society. The more people you help, the more you get helped. That's it. Sorry. There's no lack. Helping somebody else to create a dream that's similar to yours is. It's, it's good, it's always going to be a good thing for you. Karma wise or whatever, it's always going to be a good thing. If, if, you're, if you're not helping on purpose, you're doing it because you don't really believe in your ability as well. Again, I'll go out of my way, especially if it's my business, especially if it's my area. Not because I'm trying to push them. <laughs> them sign contracts and that I don't, there's no contracts. But the point is there's no lack and there's no competition and there's no jack shit unless you believe that there is. That's simple. Uh, Claire followed up. She said, so does that mean that the workbook is 
aimed at beginners? The workbook, oh. no, no, no. The workbook is aimed at beginners. However, we are going to do extra parts that we will charge extra for, which will be sent in PDF files, which will go in more in depth into individual um, areas. Um, it can be, we can also, you can ask that on, on group and we can give you more stuff to go through and read. But if you're wanting the full sort of comprehensive kind of rundown of sections like relationships, career, whatever, we will, we will, we're getting on to that. As soon as these are trained and actually do what they're supposed to be doing and making me money, I've got free time to do that for you all. Always. So technically, it's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> Always their fault. Always. How can I not give a fuck about what anyone else thinks about me? you're going to ask this question. Mm -hmm. No what? right, you can't please everybody all of the time anyway, can you? You can't. It's impossible. Even the nicest ice cream in the world, some dodgy little bastard isn't going to like it. So what are you going to do? Who are you going to please? Are you going to write a list of who's more important to please and who's less important? Was that the question? And who's mm -hmm. less important to please? And then you're going to decide to please them because if you're pleasing your mum, you're probably not pleasing your boyfriend. If you're pleasing your boyfriend, you're not pleasing your friend. So why? Why are we running up everybody's ass? We've got no control over how they see us. Please yourself. You're going to get shit anyway. So just please yourself. It's not your problem. It's not your problem making anybody else happy either except yourself. And if you're doing it and you're using it as an excuse, then you're the one using it as an, ex like an excuse to fuck with your happiness. And that again, crap. No, not having that either. Sorry, this is a good one. Um, how would you quiet and monkey brain if you have OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder? Yeah, I've got that. Um, the more you seem to focus on, that's a difficult one. It just yeah. sort of disappeared. Right, okay, the way it does it, is it yours as well? Massively. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay, and we didn't even wear. Right, what it is is, OCD is a form of an anxiety disorder, which is generalised anxiety disorder. And once you find that we do the first two weeks of mindset, the OCD naturally chills itself out because it's just sort of a sister component of kind of generalised anxiety disorder. Does that make sense? And bearing in mind, I was the crazy child of four-year-old with a hand that under the tap and yeah. In case it flooded and we died. Bless me. <laughs> we used to have to leave, my ex will, my ex will tell you this, half an hour every day just so I could check everything was turned off. And that's only a bit like very big. Sorry, just, keep fucking destroying off. everything. And that's, that's only been in the last year or so, but the more you get in control of this, the more everything goes. I've not had a panic attack since. I would say as well, drop the labelling. Yes, yes. Saying you have. The more we talk about it, and the more we, we give it labels, and the more we accept it, and the more we discuss it, we're just bringing it on. It's a term, but it is a term that comes with connotations that subconsciously we are agreeing with. If I say I'm dippy and I, I describe myself as dippy, dippy then brings across a loads of other, like loads of other words, doesn't it? Like she's this and she's this, and then you tend to adopt like adapt to that and be that. So it's the same thing. Drop the label in. Labels are shit. Yeah. Labels are bullshit. It drops a lot of the power. There's no such thing as ADHD. What there is is teachers getting really pissed that they can't control people that they're not doing as good little children should and not doing as they're told. Why should they do as they're told? You don't tell a cat or a dog not to fight other cats or dogs, do you? You don't tell kids to stop having ten temper tantrums, yet by their age they want to be controlled, so we'll give them a label of ADHD again so we can fill them full of drugs so we can keep them quiet. We're people, we have emotions, we get mad. Just because it's not socially acceptable, I'm not, I'm not, so fuck, don't give a shit. Tell you what's also not socially acceptable, me. But that's not the point. The point is allowing your emotions. Do you know what messes us up? Being told we're wrong, being told we're bad, being told sexual urges are wrong, being told urges to get angry are wrong. That's, that's what's messing us all up. It's not the urges of the emotions, it's the feelings attached to them that are ingrained into us from society. Sorry, I'm raising a question. It's all like something that drinks, so that's a good time. It doesn't pay to overthink or rationalise the law of attraction and how it works as this acts as a negative approach, which monkey brain and ego feed off? Who's asked that? Gary with a question mark. So I'm assuming it's to confirm that. Gary's right and Gary's wrong. The more intelligent you are, the more you overthink things. And the more, the more it messes with your head, it really does. It's a pure head fuck. 
because then you have to go into the quantum physics and then because you've got a degree you need the evidence and yes in a way the, the reason we meditate the reason we visualize is to quieten monkey and um, subliminal music quietens monkey but I like to read, I like to learn information, I like to talk about information. So I might confuse myself more, but I enjoy doing that. If it's if you're doing it and it doesn't feel good, it's not good for you. That's all you need to know. Doesn't matter whether I do it, or whether she does it, or whether sons are down the street does it. If it's not working for you, change it. If meditation and reading less and studying less and chilling out more works, do that. Reading books works better, do that. Sorry, but I have no idea what happened there. The phone went crazy. Right. It's not fine. It's, it's not fine. Right. Do you know what? Yeah. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was mellow. <laughs> Literally, that has never happened. Don't even have to come over. <gasps> no. We saved the day, though. Yeah. We saved the yay. Hi, not what a big was the question? Day. I was shouting with Gary Wilson last night. Yes. It fell off. Oh, was Gary. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question, actually? It was. Oh, yeah. yeah. So just yeah. do what works for you, guys. That's it. That's all you need to know. Do what works for you. That's why your guidance system is there. I'm not here to tell you what's right and wrong. I'm not here to tell you religion's right. I'm not here to tell you this is right. I'm not here to tell you X, Y, or Z. The only thing I'm here to tell you is if it feels good for you, it's good for you. That's all you need and all. You don't need gurus. You don't need books. You don't need anything that. You just need to trust yourself. But we don't. Because we're told not to. How many times do you have a problem and you ring everyone and their dog? Why? You're getting a million different opinions of confused as you are. Do what you want to do. But we don't trust ourselves. We're told not to. Once you start trusting yourself, our vows not the first. Um, before the next question, Gemma Elvin asked that about um, renewing the workbook. Do you want to Yeah, can you get in closer? Right. Right, yeah, what we're going to do is... Sorry, eat my hair. We are going to do, every four weeks, is renew the workbook group. So you can pay an extra five pound, which will give you a new workbook. I'm not binding it. Fucking not binding it. <laughs> I'd rather poke your I'm eyes out it. with stick. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know how long that took us? Printing and binding. It is. Oh, it is. relationships were nearly destroyed. <laughs> so we'll PDF file you. I don't know what that means, but apparently that's what it's called, and that will give you another four weeks. What we will also be doing is offering very cheap coaching by the phone and we're going to do advanced um, law of attraction and then the different topics as well. Like I said, just waiting for these to actually do some work so Again. so I can actually take my own clients or actually do some work. Spend all day, it's on your cover, don't I? <laughs> all day? Not Fair just question. Question. Okay. Why do I feel like I need medication to get through the day? What medication? Not specific. Right, firstly, um, People need coffee to get through the day. People need cigarettes to get through the day. So, first question would be, what is it? Secondly, is it a problem? Who's told you it's a problem? Why do you think it's a problem? Is it causing you issues? I smoke. I drink wine every night. Same. Same as... Same. I wouldn't recommend doping you up if you had depression, but that's a different story, so I would need more information on that one before I could answer that in a proper way. Right. How to deal with money that's not coming in and all you do is think about how money will come but as you wait, there's debt coming in fast even though you're paying it. Oh, that's a big it. question. Can you try and sort um, that yeah. one out? There's another one I didn't you answer that. Um, what was the question? Give me the thing. Oh, okay, money. Money not coming in. Money, money, money. That question, that whole question, that whole question is about what reality. You've got to now not focus on reality. Because the reality is keeping it. Yes, it's true. Yes, you don't have money. Yes, there are bills coming through the door. Just ignore it. I literally was in that much debt. It was unreal. Unreal. Just ignore it and focus on the money. Not the how are you going to get the money. Not any of that. Just focus on money. Stop talking about debt. Stop talking. Get it all together. Put in a debt management plan. Set up a direct debit. Ignore it. And what is it? Money. Numbers. What are they going to do? Shout out you. Put you in jail, everyone's in debt, everyone's screwed their shit up. It's not a big thing, but you'll stay in poverty if you con <laughs> I'm just having an <laughs> You just you you'll stay in poverty if you continue to talk about poverty. You listen to what you say on a daily basis. It's not I've got enough money to get this, I can't wait to buy this. Oh god, this doesn't cost very much. It's 
always, I haven't got enough money to pay the bills. That costs too much. You can't have money for that. So what are you talking about? This is the car belief. Car belief is money's hard to get. Money isn't easy. Money doesn't come quick. So you can't get anything from that. Your desire to have more money is there. The story you're telling, right down there. Not the same. It's one keep about work. Mm -hmm. That work. Still won't work. Vibrations are completely different. That's why it won't. Got to stop telling the story. Doesn't matter if at the minute it's true. Ignore it. Do exactly what you were told to do as a kid. As a kid you were told to focus on the problem, think about the problem, and that's why we're all depressed. Ignore it. This is actual life or death and there's people going to come in the house in the middle of the night and take your DNA, <laughs> beat you up with a baseball bat, which is very unlikely nowadays because of the legislation. What are they going to do? Send a mean letter and knock on your door? Ooh. Just ignore it. Stop talking about it. Teach, I'll, I'll do a whole section on my name. I'll be charging you for that. <laughs> Send Bernie some counter. That's your problem. <laughs> Next, go. Right. So Beth would like to know how does she deal with negative people while she's trying to stay focused and positive. Yeah, this is hard. Easy for me. So I don't have to deal with tickets all day long. And what I would do is I would take time out during the day. I would always start the day off very, very strong. Positive affirmations, affirmations such as um, my own opinion or my own thought, something along the lines of other people's. Um, give me, give me something. Cause I can't think. Like other people's um, negativity can affect me, but not negativity. Just that. I mean, Beth, Beth Harrington. Yes. Right. It's alright. I'll answer that question for you separately. <laughs> Which, but there's affirmations you can do on that. If it's work, for instance, write lists of grateful things that you're for, grateful for of, about work. Um, grateful for about the people at work and take time in between even if it's just a couple of minutes in the toilet to go in there send yourself like 10 minutes before this I kicked everyone out of the bedroom and I was like just go so I could play a bit of Eminem and centre myself pick a song that you anchor google anchoring and NLP which is basically when you're happy getting a song and once enough times happens that you associate that song with the feeling and then whenever you play that song you'll get that feeling otherwise this is the thing, the testers, they are, other people are blind and, and asleep and you're waking up and it will get more irritating and you'll probably lose friends. Sorry, you will. Lose friends, lose family, lose all kinds of people. But this is the only way for freedom. And it's only irritating you more now because you're happier now, so that's a good thing. So well done. Why, when my monkey starts, is it hard to stop him? <gasps> Monkey's always there. What you mean is when you're on a negative spiral, it's hard to stop because if you're thinking about anything for longer than 17 seconds, they reckon 14 now, bitch, <laughs> 14 seconds, what the law of attraction then does is kick in. So the second you think about an apple for 14 seconds, what you'll then get is other thoughts naturally attracted, which will attract more thoughts, attract more thoughts, that's called on a roll. So anything more than 14 to 17 seconds will then attract on its own without you even attempting it more thoughts that are like that thought, if that makes sense. So try either less than 17 seconds or distract yourself or say stop or do something completely different or ooh, ooh, changing state's good. If you're in the bedroom when you're thinking this, go outside, nature's brilliant, distract yourself, change state. Cool. I'm good on that. Very good. Can I drink now while you have any questions? Yeah, you can. Yeah, let's try it on. How do you deal with adult children who are resentful for the things that have gone wrong in their lives? They blame you because you had a bad relationship, despite the fact that you're always there for them, but seemingly have done nothing. Right. Thanks, that. <laughs> so definitely you letting you do and lies me get out of the gym. <laughs> I don't ask them. Firstly, the problem isn't your children. The problem is how you think about your children. Um, you can't change anyone else's behaviour except your own. You can't change anyone else's thoughts, opinions, beliefs, anything except your own. Secondly, the fact that, that you're asking that question means that you hold a core belief that your children are blaming you for everything. Because you hold that as a core belief, you can't see anything else. It's the red and green thing. So if I to look around the room, count how many things are red, close your eyes, tell me how many things are green, you can't see the green. It's the same. So your core belief is that children take the piss out of you. Therefore, you can only attract behaviour from them that confirms that. 
Secondly, um, as adults, we decided to have children so they can think what they want. That is, that's what you're an adult for. Um, and at the end of the day, everyone will probably seem like they're doing the same thing. It won't just be your children. It could be a case of it, it's a pattern. And if it's a pattern, it's it's a very good, well, it's not just an indication, it's an absolute certainty that there's a core belief about it. It's never about other people. It's never, ever about that. It's about your core belief about that. Your core belief about your kids is X, Y, and Z. And that's what you will always get until you change that story. You change a story by changing your belief. A belief is just a thought that you've thought that long, that you've developed dominant neural pathways, and then it's been accepted as truth. When it's not, it's just the belief. Beliefs aren't true. It's nothing true. Can you answer that? Very good. Um, can we have some tips on how people cannot react to somebody treating them badly? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that before I asked. No, you can't. Sorry. <laughs> Again, not your, not your problem. If they react badly to you and they're horrible to you, if they Gemma came in and was like, "You horrible, bad, dirty, mean, and slag," that's up to her. My my choice is whether I choose to think about that or whether I choose to keep my vibration as my my vibration. Whatever you think about, be it good, be it bad, be it indifferent, you were retracting. It matters zero whatever Gemma did to me. If I think about it, it's my thing. If I don't think about it, it's not my thing. And who am I to say that she shouldn't call me a fat bitch? She can do whatever she wants. I don't own Gemma. People don't have to be nice to us. They don't. They can be nasty to you. Let it go. You only What you're really saying is, they should act better to please me. Why should anybody act better to please you? Selfish. Is that um, answer the question? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a good one. How, why do babies go from being innocent, because they're born innocent, mm -hmm. to warriors? Oh, is, it, so is it society teaching them? You're really going to get me on this one? Really? Mm. I, I do agree on this. The reason they don't teach psychology and sociology in any schools except posh girls is because they don't want anyone to know the truth. That's what it is. From birth, we are taught to conform. We are taught what is right and wrong and we are socialised. We are taught to be good mums. We are taught to not let them watch TV. So the second they're born, they know more than us. It's just a gradual, gradual process of school, media, us. But everything which just generally kicks the crap out of them. That's why ADH, autism, they're the ones that have got it. They've got it so they don't give a fuck about social conformity because that's what it boils down to at the end of the day. They're not social conformists. We are. That's it. And I'm never going to be one that promotes anything that is rule based. Everything that they're taught us was, 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 was wrong. It doesn't need to be like that. And I'm not playing by them rules. We act the way we act because we're in a society that we're told that that is a thing. In other societies, it, it's okay to marry 12-year-old girls. In this society, you do that, you go to jail for a million years and get set on fire because you live in a different country in the same time. It, it, the beliefs are not your beliefs. The beliefs are beliefs that you've adopted from the society that you're actually living at the time. That's it. So how would you go about... This is me asking. Okay. Go about changing a belief would in, in your what, belief, a person's belief, a belief, yeah. Anybody, how would they go about dropping that belief and find what their actual belief is? Was it about the inner being, their true self? Right. Again, there's several ways to do it. Firstly, you still tell the story because if the question's being asked, the story's still being thought of, so you're still thinking of the story. So because you're still t t telling the same story. The same story is that vibration, what you want is that vibration. It's the same thing with poverty. So you can't tell one story and one the other. That's why there's always a discrepancy. If it's too hard, just let it go. The only thing that ever will stop us, and Jeremy knows this because we've had this conversation, is ourselves. But until you stop telling the story about how you're not good enough, or how you can't do this, how you can't have money, how you don't want money, how money's not eat, the whole blah, blah, whatever crappy top, whatever crappy story you're telling yourself, that is what your life will mirror. And until you stop telling that story, that's it. I can't do it any easier, I've tried. I have to break her before, <laughs> before she realises. 
Nice. Um, so if it, would you say that that's more about making your, the rules that are right for you? There's no rules. We think that, there are rules. Society will tell us there are rules. There are rules all day long. My dad used to drive home mortal drunk with me in the front seat with no seatbelt on. That was all okay. Now, screaming at me because he hasn't got a, bo a booster seat. I was like, Dad! Beliefs change. What was the question again? Right. I'm saying, is it about adopting what is yeah. the right belief for you? The only person that knows what is right for you is you. The only person. 99% of what we do or don't do is dictated by beliefs that we hold that are not our beliefs. The beliefs that we hold that are other people's beliefs, society's beliefs, our parents' beliefs. Inside you is the answer to everything. Your emotions were given to you for that reason, to tell you what was right and wrong. If you're partic participating, for instance, in a threesome and it doesn't feel right, it's not right. If it feels right, it's right. Society saying it's right or wrong doesn't, doesn't matter. If it's right for you, it's right for you. If a client came to me and said they were doing something that wasn't illegal, because that's a whole different kind of fish, but that was frowned upon, I can't think of anything that's not minging, especially because they're alive. <laughs> my, my, whether, whether I believed it to be a good thing or a bad thing or a correct thing or an incorrect thing matters jack shit. If they're happy with it, they're happy with it. That's all they need to know. That's all you need to know. You, you don't even know what you really think because you're too busy listening to what everybody else thinks about everything. The only person that knows you is you. The only person that's been through things is you. What are you asking your mum for when your mum's got her, her views and her beliefs and her outdated? She lived in like 19... whatever. My mum died, so I don't know. Are we not going to Did mum call that? She had different <laughs> beliefs and different value systems. So why are we taking her advice on new problems with all... It doesn't, ma it doesn't make sense. The only person that knows is you. Always. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the dead man card. Sorry. Yeah, to dead dad. Sneaking in. Does, it, <laughs> does a person have to be desperate to start the law of attraction process? Who asked that? Did you ask that? No. <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> Whoever asked that's very clever. Unless they're a client. And I've just had this conversation with them. So it could be several people. Um, but desperation is a really, really good place to start. And I'll tell you for why. I used to say at my coaches, the desperate they are, the better the, they'll be. There's two types of people. There's the people that are desperate and there's the people that are at crossroads. If you're desperate, you've tried everything. You've tried every diet one, you've paid every guru, you've read every book and you can't do anything else. So you listen to me. And you listen to me to the, to the dot. You'll do more than listen to me. You'll, you'll, you'll be like a star student and they're the ones that flourish. Because it's not about me and it's not about that, it's just about putting the work in. And desperation makes you put the work in. Being starving makes you put the work in. Cutting yourself till you've got no space on your body makes you put the work in. If your life's okay and hunky-dory but you're just not really, there's a bit, uh, you, you don't have the power. This is a daily thing. And I've turned down money and will turn down money and will turn down the lions and we're not ready for this. Not wasting my time for someone that's not ready. And I'll know by speaking to them whether I'm ready or not. If you're at a crossroads, that's fine, that's different. But you, desperation's a good place. Best place. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is our last one. Very last one. Could we explain wins more, like a win list? Oh, a win. Um, uh, oh. How, do you, how do you identify what a win is for you? Okay, a win. A win is just anything that's went well during the day. So say for instance you could have won five pounds or you could have had four green lights in a row or your dog could have been nice to you. They're all wins. What are not wins are anything that we moan about. So the point in that is <laughs> there'll be ten things that are good that happen during the day and what we'll do is we'll come straight in from work and we'll talk about the one thing that pissed us off. See what we're doing? You're looking for the blue, can't see the red. Wins are anything. Sorry, any games that you're having, any anything that went well, anything that isn't shit. We're just diverting attention, that's all we're doing. We're just confusing Monkey into going where we want him to go. So, are you saying that you would not take on a client that just wanted to take that next big step? No, no, the next big step, yeah. But there's got to be motivation there. 
there's got to be motivation. This is the daily thing and nobody's fucking with my success rate. It's not going to happen. Unless you're, there'll be times, the people that watch me, watch me for a reason, but it's not always the time that's right for them. They might be nearly there, they might be not nearly there, and until they know that they're there, I'm not going to work with them. Money isn't a thing for me. People can spout, say whatever they want. I, I get money because I'm good at what I do. I'm awesome at what I do. But if your motivation isn't there, or you're doing it for the wrong reasons, or your dad's told you to do it, or your doctor's told you to do it, I'm not working with you. I'm not working with you. Pointless. Pointless and wasting both of our times. My time's expensive enough, and I'm wasting it enough on them. <laughs> do you be wasting it on clients? Waste enough. But if you're at a crossroads, and you're confused, and you don't know what the problem is, but you're willing to put the work in, I'll go at the ends of the earth for you. You ask my clients, I'll go over and above. You think that you think I charge them the four hundred pounds and then give them the one hour a week and that's it? Bullshit. They get way more than that for me. Way more than that for me. Because it's not about the money. But I'm not working with anyone that isn't willing to put the fucking work in for themselves. End of. Sorry, I get mad. Had why? My affirmations to win the lottery. And no, 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 <laughs> not her, no, no, no. Why? Do, um, what, right. And okay. I won five pound seventy. Should I have been more specific? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how a gem! I'm not asking it. Right, we're not winning the lottery. Let's not. We're not winning the lottery. Do you know what winning the lottery is? Win, winning the lottery is a cop out version. Do you know how you get money? Do you know how you get rich? You find out what you really love. You work at it. Winning the lottery. Why are you eighty percent of people that win the lottery losing the money that they won? Because it's not a thing. You think it's a thing, but it's not a thing. Do you know what you need to do? You need to work out what what winning a couple of million pounds would mean to you. You need to work out the value behind it. So you want two million. Why do you want two million? What will two million do for you? Write a list about that. Whatever list that is, is what you want. It's not about the money. It's about the car values. So then what you can do is work out other ways to get the car values. We're not winning the lottery. It's, I'm not teaching people to win the lottery. No. Don't ask me any more lottery questions, or you'll get bad. <laughs> That's all the questions. Is that all the questions? Yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you. We're going to do these as well um, every now and again, as, as soon as we can. Because you know how long it actually takes to make the it. room, to make the room, like, able to have, to talk is, is just a massive fuck on. And now Ed is going to have to spend an hour of his time while we drink, tidying it off. Somebody said, love and living a happy life is better than winning the lottery. Yeah. Every, every single goal that anyone in the world, listen, this is important, wants, is because they think in the having of that goal, it will make them happy. Why do you go on a posh? Because you think it'll make you happier. Why do you want to have sex with a hot girl? Because you think it'll make you happier. Everything's about happiness. The search is not for stuff. It's not for people. It's not for jobs. It's not for careers. It's never been anywhere outside yourself. The search is for happiness, but it's not a search. All it is is a reflection. We're just told we need the cars and crap. Happiness is the goal, the, the value behind every single goal that ever exists. Ever. Ever. Sorry, I'm laughing. Any more questions? Adi thinks you should ask the universe to tidy off. Because he's not. Adi can... <laughs> any real questions? Before I punch you. No? No. Anymore? So, any, any questions that we haven't answered, post them below. I'll make Gemma look through them. We'll answer them another time. If Gemma's not going to put my shit off me. <laughs> and the swearing thing, I'm never not going to swear. Never not going to be drinking. Never not going to be wearing my Tinkerbell, unicorn, whatever they are. And I'll tell you for why. Because authenticity is core value for me. And whether or not you like it is jack shit my problem. So you can inbox me all you want, you'll just be getting, you'll just be getting blocked because I don't give two fucks. What I do, I'm really, really, I'm more than good at. I'm amazing at, I'm the best at. And I'm going to save lives and I am saving lives. So what difference does it make whether I swear, whether I drink, what sort of trampy girl I might sort of, what, what, is that, what does that matter? Does it matter jack, does it? What matters is I'm helping people. So anyone that's got anything to say that isn't related to the law of attraction can suck my penis. Any other questions? Are we done? We're done. I got a bit mean to do it, didn't I? A little bit. I'm just with you on. I'm sorry. Yeah. But thank you very much, and I love you all. I love you. I love thank you. Thank you. I get off now. Bye. Bye.